Welcome everybody here to our next uh, webinar about uh, JFD Invest and uh, warm welcome in the name of uh, JFD Bank as well. My name is Stefan Friedrichowski as always for the English webinars about JFD Invest, a genuine experience for traders. So what is JFD Invest? JFD Invest is a trading platform for copy trading so you can even um, copy professional traders strategies directly into your personal account and that is what JFD Invest is about and uh, you act as a portfolio manager which is a quite cool job selecting strategies as you like and uh, allocate the, a given amount of money to a given strategy and that is JFD Invest. Oh, I forgot to mention the date of today. We have the uh, 8th of uh, November 2019, 11 o'clock at least in uh, Germany, wherever you are. I hope you enjoy today's uh, webinar here. I think I mentioned my name already and uh, you see my um, contact. So if you have any further questions, please do not hesitate to drop me a line to s. Friedrichowski, I know it's a really complicated last name, so just call me Stefan at jfdbank.com. So what we will discuss today, I will introduce you um, into the trading platform, how to, to take your personal steps to become part of uh, the JFD Invest family and uh, I will explain a little bit how you uh, do all the steps, but of course we have a look to the highlights of last week uh, again, and uh, we will look to my personal account as well. So let's start with the highlights um, today, and then you will see already a little bit what is really around uh, JFD Invest, and um, you might even get that uh, newsletter here uh, about JFD Invest, if not, you drop the line to support at uh, jfdbank.com, then you get an update uh, every week about the top performer of last week. And in this case, it has been Archimedes, uh, that kind of strategy which is trading more or less uh, only Euro Polish Slotty and Euro Swiss Franc. And uh, you see the monthly, uh, the, the, the last week, uh, which are very good growth of a little bit more than 3%. But you see that there are other strategies doing quite good because we are talking about a weekly performance. And uh, so second has been Brimstone and third has been BIP Generator. But there are much more strategies. In total, we have 16 up to now at uh, JFD and West. And um, so, yeah, let's have a look and how you can become part of JFD in West as well. So before doing that, um, I uh, should not forget to mention um, that uh, we have uh, a risk disclaimer. So that has to be mentioned at least once during any webinar before I really jump into JFD in West. And what is more or less written here, we talk about um, investment, we talk about trading strategies, but whatever you do, um, of course, you do it by your own and on your own responsibility. Um, I think that's quite self-explaining um, and uh, therefore it has to be mentioned here uh, at least once during any webinar. Okay, um, let me uh, directly go to our webpage of uh, JFD Bank and uh, here on the webpage you will find um, an button which is called investing and then we have the JFD invest so if we follow uh, that uh, link then we are on the special page of uh, JFD bank everything all around JFD invest and you see already here the, the steps which are necessary but let me first scroll down so that you see what we are really talking about what you see here within the table is um, the top five performing strategies at JFD in West, and you see that we are we really, that we are really talking about high prof, highly profitable trading strategies. You see Hyperion, for example, with eighty percent growth since inception. And later, you will learn 
inception date is a little bit more than one and a half year ago. And you see other strategies doing quite well. So double digit numbers in growth. But you see some additional key figures already here uh, listed on our homepage. Equity balance deviation last month and year to date. Um, but we will talk about those key figures uh, later much more in detail because those key figures give you the opportunity to select the strategies according to your personal preferences. And that is something which is extremely important. Not any investor is the same. Not any trader is the same. So we have different um, types of uh, risk profiles, to, so to say. There might be a trader uh, who would say, okay, if I have a drawdown of uh, 10%, what? That's a nightmare. 10% loss. I don't want to see something like that into in my trading account. There are others who would say, oh, no, uh, if I have 50% drawdown and that will recover soon, no problem with me. So you see already, just talking about drawdown gives um, the wide range and not every anybody is the same. And therefore, that kind of review process to those trading strategies is extremely important because those strategies should fit to your personal profile, to your preferences. And therefore, we will uh, talk about that later. And that cannot even give you any um, any holy grail about what you should do there because it's up to you, of course. But let me explain how you can become part of JFD Invest. So there are four steps the total necessary in order to be part of the JFD Invest family. The first one would be simply to uh, sign up. Sign up means uh, you open, you press first the button, but um, then you, you press your uh, email address and give you yourself a password. That's just a registration uh, process and you have a JFD Invest profile. The good thing is there's no money involved. You can do it, uh, but you can use, if you like, the guest access later as well. And we will start with that in a minute. If you have no profile, then you can see more details about those trading strategies. Um, than as being a guest, but anyhow, uh, both is possible. Finally, if you like, you open a special account, a so-called JFD Invest account. Even if you luckily are already uh, a client of uh, JFD Bank, uh, you cannot use your existing um, um, private uh, account because um, you need a special one. The special reason is there are two things related with the JFD Invest account. The first one is that uh, that account has uh, the same conditions like professional traders. Um, because you follow professionals, therefore you get the same conditions. That means you get the same leverage, for example. The other thing which is special and that you might not like <laughs> um, is you cannot really trade by your own in that account. So you cannot open a trade euro, US dollar short or whatever. Um, no, that account is only meant for being used for JFD Invest, meaning copy trades from existing trading strategies. The third step is you connect your profile with your JFD Invest account. And after you deposit um, uh, your money on your account, you can start following those trading strategies. That's quite easy. And all you need is access to the internet. And you will um, hear that sentence once again, because wherever you are, you can act as a portfolio manager and do your necessary step steps. If you like to change your allocation, if you want to stop a given strategy or to start with a new one. So you can have, you can do everything just having access to the internet. What you don't need is any trading server, no um, VPS or expert advisors or anything like that. So starting with JFD Invest means everything is taken care of directly um, by JFD Bank. But let's jump in to see more about JFD Invest. And I just press the button guest access so you can see uh, what you um, 
can realize already with all those strategies. And that uh, always is a little bit complicated here for me because um, to have, do the webinar and uh, simultaneously um, um, going here in the internet is, uh, um, yeah, there's uh, bandwidth limitations of the internet, of course. But anyhow, it works. You, we have uh, the, the full table about strategies, and we start with the first page. So you see there's a second page, and uh, once again, the five top performers are uh, uh, here again. Uh, that table on the web page is updated every night, but there it will not change that frequently, of course. You see all those strategies, and now we can start doing that kind of review process in order to get more details about those trading strategies. And let me start with top performer, the Hyperion, because that is quite interesting strategies to explain uh, a little bit more what you should know when you start investing with um, the JFD in West. And just pressing uh, the strategy, you get lots of details about those trading strategies, statistics, and let's start with the overall growth. Okay. It's a fantastic growth, um, already uh, hitting the line of uh, more above 100%. But on the other hand, what you can see, there are drawdowns um, within the graph. So that is already directly seen. So going with that strategy means accepting high drawdowns. And even what we do here is always looking to the history of the strategy. And of course, there's no guarantee for any future behavior. Um, you know that. But overall, we have a fantastic growth, and that is reflected, for example, in the monthly return table, uh, which should or would be ideally totally green. And we have strategies which are totally green here, and we will come to those as well. Um, but nevertheless, high period is extremely profitable, um, and right now it stands at 80% being in a drawdown phase, what we see here, of course. But now let's talk about equity balance deviation, which is another key figure, which is quite important. Drawdown is always one, but equity balance deviation is another one. And uh, if you think about trading, then you might know what the difference between equity and balance is about. And uh, if you have a fresh trading account, no trade open, then the two numbers, equity and balance, equal each other. At the moment you open a trade, and that trade might uh, become a loser trade, then you have, of course, um, a minus equity balance deviation because you have so-called floating losses in your account. And those floating losses are exactly meant with equity balance deviation. That means this strategy, there has been a point in time that the open trades have been on at minus 40%, talking about numbers. That would mean 10K, if you have 10,000 euros invested in that strategy, there are floating losses of 4,000 euros. Therefore, we are that transparent that you know that, that might happen if you follow that strategy. And you can see even that equity balance deviation versus time. And uh, here we have had uh, the maximum, or better to say the minimum number, minus 40%. But you can see something about the characteristic of that kind of strategy. It has always a lot of open trades and always, let's say, an average of minus 10, minus 15% um, equity balance deviation. So going for that strategy, is on the one hand, quite high returns. On the other hand, I would um, I would uh, say that strategy is more risky because we have those floating losses and we have those drawdowns which we have seen. So therefore, part of your review process, um, if you like it or if you don't like it. The other good thing is we don't have to put all our money into one strategy. We can diversify our investments. So maybe you would say, okay, let me follow Hyperion just with a part of my money, because then overall those kind of drawdowns and equity balance deviations would not be completely with my, in, within my uh, complete account. So therefore, diversification, at least for me, is a must. 
let's talk about other details which you can realize here um, and that's the reason why we are that transparency that you have really all the information you need for for your decision process you can see trading statistics about that strategy for example you can see um, strategy has executed uh, since inception and that's a little bit more than well, it's close for already to two years so three months left and we have two years uh, more than 2000 trades have been executed with that strategy so there's really statistics behind not just five lucky winners and uh, that's it and the other good thing is you can even see the traded instruments um, and in this case you would realize that this strategy is trading more or less um, Dow Jones and uh, DAX only, a few other trades um, on the three other symbols. So it's an index um, strategy. Maybe you have preferences there as well. And uh, you can compare your preferences to all those numbers given here on our JFT Invest platform. But part of your every process should be views on growth and returns drawdowns and equity balance deviation, at least uh, from my thinking. Let me show you one additional feature here. If you go for equity and then you might say, whoops, what's that? First thing, we have two lines. Um, and the reason is once again, we have balance and equity. So including the open trades. And as we know, the strategy has floating losses uh, from time to time. Um, but we realize another thing. What's that step down here? Is that a drawdown? The answer is no, because we haven't seen that step in the growth. So what does it mean? What happened here? Oh, it's quite easy, the answer. It's simply a withdrawal within the account, and that you can see here as well. Does it have any impact on, on, you, on your account? The answer is no. Uh, of course, it's not a um, withdrawal on your account. <laughs> That's always completely separated but we're just looking to the so-called master account and if that trader decide, is deciding to take out some money why not but it has nothing to do with your uh, account but you can realize those uh, steps up or steps down step ups would be simply a deposit um, by comparing equity and growth and then you know, realize okay that has been uh, something different let me show you another strategy that you see that is really totally different what we are talking here. So um, second best has been butterfly last uh, week. Okay, let's go for that one. And then I will introduce once again uh, the new one, Angelius, which is really a cool trading strategy. But let's start with butterfly. So butterfly is one of those which are almost green um, and November is not uh, is an ongoing month, so maybe at the end of the month, even that red number will turn into a green one once again. Up to now, all completed months have been green with that strategy. You see the overall growth. It's not um, that steep as a high period, but quite steady. But as you learned, we have to think about drawdowns and equity balance deviation as well. So we'll have a look here to that key figure once again, in a completely different picture. So, okay, we have had close to 10% in May uh, this year, but overall, looking to the average here, it's more or less about minus one. So that strategy does not have that many open trades and um, therefore, no, not that many floating losses. The other thing, what you can see within the trading statistics, for example, is how the average trade duration. So what you can see here, it's close to one day, 18 hours. Um, so even that number is uh, shown here on our web page. So quite interesting strategy. Let's look to the instrument being traded. And now we have a Forex strategy, six instruments. And I would say it's more or less the major. So there's no clear definition about what is really a minor and what is a major, but those symbols, yeah. Um, are heavily traded and uh, it's not absolutely equally distributed but at least four symbols are traded more or less um, quite often so that is a butterfly just as an example and once again it's your review process what we are reflecting here going through those steps you can say is it 
too risky for me, yes or no, um, and so on. I mentioned there's a new strategy, and the new one is in Jalius. Uh, the strategy is not that old, um, and up to now it has only a track record of um, five months, but uh, we know um, much more about the strategy, therefore we decided to, to launch this one already here as well. And you can see 30% within five months, not that bad. Let's have a view on equity balance deviation. Okay, close to minus 10, but overall, okay, in between Hyperion and Butterfly, for example. Traded instruments, um, once again, Forex, a few more pairs uh, are traded here. And quite interesting. So we should have a look to the details because there are more things I want to introduce here. Whenever it comes to your decisions about following any trading strategy, of course, there's a, you, you need to know the minimum investment sum. So in this case, it's 1,000 euros. So you cannot follow the strategy with 500 euros, but you can follow, of course, with any number higher than uh, 1K. And that is, let me... Um, go here into more details. If you follow that strategy with an amount of money of 3,907 euros, which is the balance of that uh, strategy, then any trade would be copied exactly one to one. If you have less money if, for your allocation, then the trade is scaled down. If you have more, the trade is scaled up. So that's with how much money you, you follow a strategy is reflecting the scaling factor. Therefore, have always in mind the balance of the followed strategy and your um, allocated money to that strategy because that defines the scaling factor. In order to show more how it really works, I really now want to log in um, in a real JFD invest account. So it's my personal one and um, I'm following quite a lot of strategies in this case. I will personally I follow uh, right now as we speak six strategies and you will see I have um, started that uh, process since the very beginning of JFD Invest, so uh, last year September. And here you can see my personal result following those strategies. And you see that I have earned a gross profit of 28% up to now, um, which is not that bad. Okay, we have drawdowns in um, as well. And now you can see how, what I mean with allocation. In this case, I follow six different strategies and um, with different amount of money. And that is exactly how you work with JFD Invest. Let me explain a few examples. For example, if I do not want to follow anymore the strategy Volcano, then it's simply the action, stop allocation. What does it mean? If I would press it, then all the followed trades from Volcano would be closed, and no new trade would be opened if Volcano opens a new trade. Quite easy, you can do it wherever you are um, just having access to the internet. You can see it's really that easy. Or let's do the other step as well. How does it work to follow a new strategy? Let's let's say you want to follow uh, Angelius um, as a new one. Okay, let's press the follow button. And now the next step is that we have to allocate a certain amount of money. And starting, as we know, with 1K, because that has been the minimum amount for NJLS, and we can go higher. But in my case, not. I cannot even follow the strategy because you see my available balance is just um, uh, 197 euros, so I can't follow the strategy. Um, but anyhow, that was how the allocation works. You uh, Either you type in the number or you use a slider here. But there's another thing I want to introduce here as well. You can even apply 
let's call it a stop loss, a risk management. Let me explain it after doing that step. So for example, we would follow the strategy with 1000 euro and we would put the slider here at 50%. What does it mean? It's something like a, like a stop loss for trade, but now on a strategy level. That means in case that strategy would lose 500 euros, everything would be stopped. So it's the same like the pressing the button um, stop allocation, but now it's done automatically uh, in the background and you don't have to, to take care about that step by your own. Therefore, we have that button, we have the risk management, but now think about the strategy Hyperion and we would put the slider to 10%. Hmm. That would be not a good idea, at least to my thinking. We have learned that strategy has more or less always floating losses between 10 and 15% and even higher numbers. So we would be stopped out quite fast um, if we follow with risk management and the slider at 10%. So always compare um, the profile of the strategy with uh, the value you choose here. And since I don't want to hide that number, and that was seen already when we looked to the details of any strategy, there's a performance fee involved. There's no management fee, so no base costs at all, but a performance fee in case of um, profits. So whenever we have profits on a month's end base, and that is taken by the principles of high watermark, then there's a fee being charged to your account. And that fee is 25%. Uh, but only on a month's end base if you reach new highs with your followed strategy. That is what's meant with high watermark. So only if you earn money, then you would have to pay. Uh, that's, let's say, the short definition of our performance fee and that's how it works, that you follow a new strategy. Um, you can press that button directly out of a given strategy, or you can press that button already here, um, or doing the review process, like uh, going for Forex Gun, for example, um, doing your analysis of that account. And uh, let's have a view here, oh, almost green uh, October, so that will not change. Um, so that's already fixed. Anyhow, quite an impressive strategy as well, trading Euro, US dollar only. And if we want to follow, just pressing that button and we are in uh, with that strategy. My personal clue is always use diversification because diversification as for normal trading is always key. I would personally not just put all, everything into one strategy. Um, I actively, as you can see, use uh, diversification, putting certain amounts of money to a given strategy and then uh, using even protection, sometimes not always, um, as you can see by my numbers here. That's how it works. And hopefully you achieve numbers uh, like my account here, even if they are drawdowns, yes, um, but still gross profit 28%. Uh, within one year. Why not? It's not that bad. If you have any further questions, please do not hesitate to drop me a line. Um, I say I show once again my email address here because I know it's quite complicated. But you can um, send an email to support at JFD Bank as well. Uh, no problem. It will go to me if you mention my name. Okay, that's for today. And I will update everything uh, here in two weeks from now. And I hope you enjoyed the webinar and enjoy the Friday and even more the upcoming weekend. Okay, that's for now. Have a good time. Bye-bye.